This is Watch Movie 008, and this is part three of the 100 Master Grade scale RGM 79C GM Type C. Now, in this part, I will be assembling the Master Grade and discussing the overall articulation, whether or not it lost or gained some. Now, when we start building, we I was I'll start first building the leg piece. So if you excuse me, I'll shut up for now and start building the, ma the master grade. And there we have the Wa 100 Master Grade Scale GM Kai. Now what fell down before was just his rifle, but let's leave it out. Now since he's built together, let's see the articulation. Hair will move up and down some. Does not have the chicken hair movement. Will spin 360, but you have to fight around the collar. Arms will bend out that far. Will rotate. An almost 180 degree bend. Hands can close after twinkle finger, the movie thumb. That's not. It will rotate and wiggle some. The the body will only twist and turn about that far and then come on chest armor will open up and you w sh yeah you can see the small pilot in there the shield can Turn 360. Now, there is another peg for the shield which allows you to put the shield at his back. But when you do that, then that means you have to pose his arm like that, which I'm not really a fan of. So, front skirts can move individually, side skirts move that. We issued that. 
the back skirts cannot move, but when we open these together, legs are on a um are on the um high grade ball joints, so yeah, you're not getting that much in and out. You are gonna get that in and that far out. The legs will bend. The legs will bend over 90 degrees as shown here. And the foot guard will move and wiggle some. So overall it has a pretty decent amount of articulation for a master grade. Now, be told this is still an old master grade. It came out approximately, I think, 2002, 2003. So the inner frame system was still, still wasn't there. I mean, old master grades um, focused, focused some inner frame more on the legs and somewhat in the body, but it wasn't like the Gundam version 2.0 where it was a full scale inner frame. So it lacks some articulation in that, but for the Master Grade at its time, it still has pretty good articulation, which I give positive to. Now the color scheme, you will be a bit disappointed there's some parts where you have to paint, but that's typical. It's the same places where the high grade GM Type C also suffered. Like the sides need to be painted red, the foot needs to be painted gray. Boosters, all of the boosters need uh, red painting. But other than that, it's a good model kit. Now, do I recommend it? Well. If you could find a cheap one for around $30, which I did find on eBay, then yeah, go and buy it. Other than that, if you don't like the GM and you prefer to spend that money on too high grade, you know, go be my guest. This is, I hope you really enjoyed the... Uh, the review of my Master Grade Wall 100 scale GM Type C. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able. I won't be able to pose the GM Type C w uh, with its gun because the guns do not have the peg system, as you can see, no peg. So what I'm gonna do is try to super glue or cement glue the gun to the hand. That way it's probably left as it is. I'm never going to use the beam sabers so that means no dual wielding beam saber GF type C for you guys but I will uh, still have a posing with a gun just to make them have that GM standard type um, poses that we all see. Before I end the video, I forgot to mention the um, I forgot to mention some more downfalls to the kit. This master grade is somewhat disproportional. As you can see for the shoulders, how they're a bit small compared to the uh, body, it kind of left me disappointed that you know all the all bad I did was just reused the. Uh, orig the, just reuse the original Gundam. <laughs> Pretty much, you know, have the same shoulder but give this on it. And even the legs themselves are evident. You can tell how they have the Gundamish bulky uh, feet legs where the Geotype C, <laughs> designed by Hajime Katoki, is supposed to have a much more flatter and a bit longer foot so I was a bit disappointed on that but other than that it's just a great kit those are the only two things I did like about the kit <laughs>